Blog Talk Radio. You are now tuned into the best fatherhood radio show in the world. Furthering Fathering Radio Show. Furthering Fathering Radio Show. With your host, Pastor Jeremy Maynard. You know his motto. He's excited to be alive. The, the, the Furthering Fathering Radio Show starts in five, four, three, two, one. You ready? L- l- let's get the conversation started. to his word. I'm going to read three verses, uh, 2 Timothy 2, 15 and 16, John 8, 31 and 32, and 1 Corinthians 15, 57, and it reads as follows, John, sorry, 2 Timothy 2, 15, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed Rightly dividing the word of truth. Verse 16, but shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. John 8, 31 and 32, it reads as follows. Then said Yeshua, Jesus, To those Jews, those followers of the way, which believed on him, if ye continue in my word, then ye are my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. 1 Corinthians 15.57, but thanks be to Yah, but thanks be to God which has given us the victory through our Adonai, Yeshua HaMashiach, a.k.a. our Lord, Jesus Christ, Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the truth, for being the truth and the truth that makes us free. Thank you, Lord, for you being the reference that we reverence so that we can study to show ourselves approved unto you. Workmen that needeth not to be ashamed as we confide in you, we grow in confidence. Hallelujah. So thank you, Lord, that we will shun vain and profane babblings. We will, uh, uh, all distortion we will shun. All misinformation we will shun. And, and, and we will continue in your word. And as we become your students, your children, your disciples, we will know the truth, the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit, comforter. <laughs> will make us free. Hallelujah. But we want to thank you, Lord, today because you've already given us the victory through Christ. And with this we say in the master's name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, amen and amen. As dads, uh, so much we have to go through so much as patriarchs 
We have to go through so much. And I want to give a, a shout out to my normal co-host, Ron, Elder Ron Herring, who can't be here because of a family tragedy. But I, 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 I want to honor the man. I want to honor the man that, that he posted earlier today, and I want to read it for you. Since we're talking about celebrating victories, and we're talking about breaking curses, and we're talking about ascertaining the truth, this is what he wrote. This is what he wrote. He wrote this. He said, If it is true, a true word of purpose and destiny from the Most High, the enemy will try to stop you. Our prophetic words will serve as a battle axe and a ram in the spirit to allow us to withstand resistance, error, and any curses that come because of us being obedient to the Most High in our life's charge and calling. There is a saying, what you do not know will not hurt you. I beg to differ. On this, because the word of our Heavenly Father is clear that his people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And he quoted Hosea 4 and 6. Notice, it does not say destroyed by poverty, destroyed by sickness, destroyed, destroyed by disease, destroyed by demons, or even debt. But due to a lack of knowledge, ignorance will always be the opposition of one who seems who seems and seeks the most high. We defeat the enemy by the word of our Elohim and applying it in our lives. The greatest enemy and weapon against our Heavenly Father's children, I said before, is not those things I spoke of, but that one simple word called ignorance. If the enemy can keep the most high's people blind and deceived of the truth of his word, and the prophetic promises concerning them, then he, and he can and will allow them to rob themselves from truly being liberated. And he closed by saying, be blessed. Yes, 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 yes. The truth. Can you dig it? <laughs> yes, you can dig it, but sometimes you have to dig it up. You dig? To get to the truth, there sometimes must be an unearthing because uh, the truth very often is under a layer <laughs> and, and it must be exposed by some deep digging, some excavation. Uh, the ugly duckling, you know, may be that story. Everybody knows that story. It seems like it's about a bird, but in the reality of a people, like the people uh, who are celebrating uh, uh, melanated history, <laughs> black history. Uh, uh, they, they, we've been lied about regarding our identity, our history, our importance, and our contribution. Actually, uh, vilified. <laughs> but sometimes, though, we as dads of all creeds must become griots. And so you know what a griot is. A griot was a special spoken word poet. Uh, that recounted histor- historical facts, that kept the lexicon, that kept, they were the, 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 the visual encyclopedia, the verbal encyclopedia of the history of the people. But to, to, to be that, you have to speak up as a dad. That, when, you, when you do that, you foster recovery from the cause of the self-defeating riot. It's the griot versus the riot. But the riot happens after the fact because it's reactionary. So the truth must be ascertained so that freedom can be apprehended and held on to. So we're going to talk about uh, uh, um, the importance of uncovering redacted victories today. We're going to talk about the importance of uncovering redacted victories today. And, 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 And Uh, The accomplishments And also undoing Some of the binding errors And fallacies Where melanated people are Concerned Where melanated people are concerned You know uh, uh, um, I want to give a a, a shout out To two uh, uh, Great people in the past That people don't tend to talk about One's name is Claudette Colvin Uh, 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 Many know uh, uh, that she is actually the first 
to boycott the bus. <laughs> yes, he was the first, uh, uh, predating uh, anyone else. Yes, we celebrate all who've done that. But she was the first. Uh, the, the the national uh, 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 NAACP, <laughs> the the the, the NAACP didn't think because she was only 15 that she was uh, the best representative. But she felt that what caused it to sit down when she said she felt as though Sojourner Truth and Harriet Tubman were, were holding her down. When she was being asked to get up and move and give the seat to someone else, she felt it was Sojourner Truth and Harriet Tubman. You see, in that statement, it is the heroes of the past and their stance that caused her to sit <laughs> and stay seated. That seated, seated is the position of the student. She had learned the lesson from the past, and uh, she, she sat. Uh, yes, 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 she sat. Her name is Claudette. Colvin, Claudette Colvin. I want to also give a shout out to uh, 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 someone who was enslaved named Onesimus. Now, yes, there's an Onesimus in the book of Philemon, and he was a believer uh, 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 in the way. But this Onesimus was actually um, a, a, a slave who uh, in 1807, I believe it was, in 1807, Onesimus, um, sorry, yeah, yeah, so, sorry, it was in, in 17, in the 17, 1720s, uh, uh, in the 1720s, uh, 1706, uh, he was uh, given to, and that word given, because unfortunately he was a slave, so he was given to Cotton Mather, Mather. And Onesimus introduced to this Mather gentleman the concept that he received from his Ghanaian past, because he was from Ghana. He was from a, a tribe that is now called Akan. It is the Koromanti people. Uh, uh, um, uh, he taught Mather uh, how to inoculate No, I'm not talking about vi uh, uh, What we call now uh, uh, um, uh, Vaccines What he did uh, Because there was a smallpox outbreak He uh, Took some of the Pus of smallpox And introduced it to people So that their own natural Immunity would kick in And build up a resistance to smallpox this is apparently a, a practice that was done in West Africa before he was captured and brought over to slavery. It is said that the, 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 the uh, Mr. Mather believed him uh, to be uh, Onesimus, and that word means helpful, useful, and profitable. So no matter your circumstance, you can contribute to the greater good. Uh, so, so with that said, uh, we are going to take a break. And we will be right. One of the initiatives here at Furthering Fathering is to raise awareness around sickle cell disease. Help us to be a blessing to sponsor 10 kids from ages 7 to 17 to Camp New Hope in July 2023. Brought to you by the Sickle Cell Foundation of Georgia. Registration opens soon with a cost of $150 per child. Help further and father and sponsor at least 10 kids. You can be a blessing today by visiting our website to make a donation at www.furtheringfathering.org. Click the donate button and choose Sickle Cell Camp. Make a donation of any amount, but our goal is to at least raise $1,500, which will cover the cost of 10 kids. The research-based curriculum, Getting to the Heart of Fathers, Five Core Principles Workbook introduces the five core principles of furthering fathering, and it makes them practical. The acronym principles, which form the word H-E-A-R-T, heart, are honor, 
encouragement, accountability, reconciliation, and training. Along with your consultation, the curriculum can be taught in a variation of sessions, virtually and in person according to need. For more, contact us at www.furtheringfathering.org. Email us at info at furtheringfathering.org or call us at 888-380-3370. Haven Church Global, the safe place to grow in grace, where peace is made and the truth makes us free. Join the Haven Church Global's e-service every Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for a word of encouragement on Jeremy Anthony Maynard's Facebook page and the Jeremy Maynard YouTube page. For more information, visit Haven Church of ny.org let's get the conversation started yes 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 further and fathering radio black out history celebrating the victories and breaking the curses so we were talking a little about about uh, history the in- i want to go into some of the inventors after we shout out anisimus and claudette uh, colvin uh, um i want to shout out some of the inventors and some of the inventors that are not even given credit, some of the things that we use on a normal basis or some things that bless our lives, we don't even consider, uh, uh, like like airplane propelling by uh, James S. Adams, uh, uh, um, like the coin changer by, by James Bauer. Um, oh, my goodness, uh, uh, the stainless steel pads uh, <laughs> by Alfred Benjamin, the lawnmower. By uh, John A. Burr. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness! So many things are created by those. The pressure cooker by Maurice W. Lee. The fire extinguisher by Tom J. Marshall. Yes, yes, yes. So many things. The envelope sealer. Uh, uh, um, ice cream is created by. Alfred L. Crane. Uh, um, oh my goodness. Uh, the elevator by Alexander Miles. The traffic signal and the gas mask by Garrett Morgan. Uh, oh my goodness. The the baby buggy by William H. Richardson. So many things here that that, that that are created, but the doorknob and the doorstop by Osborne Dorsey. The player piano by Joseph Dickinson. The fountain pen and the hand stamp by William P. Purvis, B. Purvis. The dustpan by Floyd P. Ray. The cellular phone by Henry Sampson. The Curtain Rod by F.R. Scottman. There were so many uh, other, the heat, the heating furnace by Alice H. Parker. So many inventions. Oh my goodness. This list is so long and extensive. But the point I'm making is that if you don't know that you have someone who is like you, who that has been contributing, you can fall into, talked about last week, the propaganda, which is the verbiage of indoctrination that keeps you at bay, that keeps you uh, stagnated, that limits, you start to limit yourself because of the lack of exposure. The lack of exposure comes from a lack of light, and the light is truth. Yes, so you need the exposure of the truth to 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 act to ascertain freedom to to really be free. It, it's not a matter of ignorance, as as Ron wrote uh, earlier. People say uh, what you don't know can't hurt you, but the truth is, what you don't know can kill you. What you don't know can impress you. What you don't know can harm you. Uh, 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 um, it's important to know. It's a, knowledge is intimacy, so which means knowledge actually comes from love. Uh, how do you love yourself if you don't know yourself? 
How do you love yourself if you don't know who you are? If you if you're lacking identity, if you've been portrayed in a certain way and your history has been limited or cut off, they, they, you know they, they, they say reading is leading, uh, but but uh, uh, for, there was a period of time where we were not allowed to read or discouraged from reading, uh, and 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 because of that, there there was a a, a delay in in, uh, in being sustained in growth. The Refrigerator by John Standard. Oh, my goodness. I'm looking at all these incredible blood plasma. Dr. Charles Drew. Discoveries and Inventions. GPS by Mrs. Gladys West. The GPS by Mrs. Gladys West. Uh, uh, So many inventions. The Fire Escape Ladder by Joseph Winters. Important inventions. Important inventions. Things that we need to survive. Things that we need in case of escape. The Motor by J. Gregory. (laughs) Even the Golf Tee by George F. Grant. The Guitar by Robert Fleming. (laughs) Yes. The Shoe by William A. Dietz. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So many inventions that were, were invented by uh, people of color, by melanated people, by people we call black. Uh, 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 the Potato Chip by George Crumb. So many things that were created. Uh, uh, what happens is when you're dealing with difficulty and struggle and and access is denied, you either become cunning or you become creative. You become cunning to ascertain, to gain, or you become creative and make a way, right? Uh, Make a way using what's in your hand. Make a way using what's in your mind. Make a way uh, uh, seeing beyond what is currently available. Some people are uh, being stuck, is being stuck on stupid very often. Very often, it's not a, merely a settling, it's a stuckness. And, 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 oh, my goodness, we have someone on the line I cannot wait to talk to. Oh, oh. Uh, I, I know who this man of God is. Is, 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 this, is this the esteemed Mr. Abbott? <laughs> it is the, the brother from another mother. Bishop. Yes. How are you, folks? I am excited to be alive. I am excited Absolutely. to be alive. And, and you know, been discussing blacked out history and celebrating our victories. You know, uh, very, okay. you know, they're, they're, they're breaking the curses. Uh, um, um, th- there is um, so much to say about what misinformation does and. Uh, a couple of few weeks ago, God gave me this uh, 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 this verbiage to, to re, uh, repeat to others, and He said, He said to me, he said, He said, misinformation is the projector of deception for the show of lies, so that we are ent- we entertain fallacy, and so that misinterpretation becomes a defended. An accepted philosophy See what happens is It is misinformation That is used It's basically a lie To get you to to, to, to stay in the matrix <laughs> mm-hmm. it, it, yeah. Did God say? It's just like exactly. Did God say? It, did God say? Exactly Exactly And, and, and what, that, what does that produce? That produces not merely doubt but it's, but it's the elevation of self uh, uh, That I have to be the one That solves the problem I have to be the one uh, 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 uh. So you step outside of Who you are Why you are Into a realm that you're not ready for And, and, and it's destined for failure So I looked up seven uh, uh, Potential ways Misinformation uh, And a lack of identity Can impact Generations 
Number one was poverty. Misinformation and a lack of understanding uh, uh, will, will lead to a lack of how to build wealth or access to resources and can result in long-term poverty that affects multiple generations. Number two, mental health issues. Misinformation and a lack of understanding can lead to mental health in, uh, issues that lead to stigmatization and a perpetual harmful beliefs about mental health conditions leading to mental health struggles in future generations. Number three, addiction. Misinformation and a lack of understanding uh, uh, can lead to substance abuse and a cycle of addiction that affects multiple generations. Number four, the inability to form healthy relationships. A lack of identity and understanding the importance of healthy relationships leads to patterns and sustains uh, sustains a patterns of dysfunctional relationships that persist from generation to generation. Number five, educational underachievement. I just say a lack of wisdom because that's real education when you grow in wisdom. But 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 misinformation and a lack of understanding who you are. Uh, 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 leads to a lack of value of education. It leads to that why bother, and can lead to a, 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 a lack of emphasis on learning, like you can't stand learning, <laughs> and leading to a cycle of educational underachievement that affects multiple generations. Number six, limited vocational prospects. Uh, misinformation uh, and a lack of understanding uh, 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 will lead to uh, a lack of job prospects and opportunities and how to access them uh, uh, and, and lead to limited prospects of income and perpetual cycle of uh, economic hardship. And number seven, unhealthy habits, misinformation, uh, and a lack of understanding who you are, why you're here, and the importance and value of who you are will lead to bad habits in diet, exercise, uh, uh, in sleep, in uh, uh, vocabulary, in in in, in uh, treatment of others, treatment of self, uh, of unhealthy and bad habits. I have a an acronym for that: H A B uh, I T S for bad habits. Horrible, accepted behaviors, inviting thoughtless slavery. And with that said, we're going to go to a quick break, and we will be right back. Can't wait to talk to you on the other side, Derek. <laughs> One of the initiatives here at Furthering Fathering is to raise awareness around sickle cell disease. Help us to be a blessing to sponsor 10 kids from ages 7 to 17 to Camp New Hope in July 2023. Brought to you by the Sickle Cell Foundation of Georgia. Registration opens soon with a cost of $150 per child. Help further and father and sponsor at least 10 kids. You can be a blessing today by visiting our website to make a donation at www.furtheringfathering.org. Click the donate button and choose Sickle Cell Camp. Make a donation of any amount, but our goal is to at least raise $1,500, which will cover the cost of 10 kids. The research-based curriculum, Getting to the Heart of Fathers, Five Core Principles Workbook introduces the five core principles of furthering fathering, and it makes them practical. The acronym principles, which form the word H-E-A-R-T, heart, are honor, encouragement, accountability, reconciliation, and training. Along with your consultation, the curriculum can be taught in a variation of sessions, virtually and in person according to need. For more, contact us at www.furtheringfathering.org. Email us at info at furtheringfathering.org or call us at 888-380-3370. Haven Church Global, the safe place to grow in grace, where peace is made and the truth makes us free. Join the Haven Church Global's e-service every Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. For a word of encouragement on Jeremy Anthony Maynard's Facebook page, 
and the Jeremy Maynard YouTube page. For more information, visit Haven Church of NY.org. Let's get the conversation started. Yes, yes, further and farther in radio, the brothers are back in the building. Blacked out history, celebrating the victories and breaking the curses. I was just on the other side uh, talking with uh, uh, Derek Abbott, uh, incredible man of God. Um, when you hear the, even the title, uh, Blacked Out History, uh, uh, just that part, Blacked Out History, um, what does it foster in you and, and, and uh, what does it cause you to, to, to think about and focus on? Well, blessings, Bishop. First of all, when I first entered the program, I was a little bit late because I was working on breaking some generational curses myself. (laughs) I'm at the gym. I'm on the treadmill. I got my mile in. I got my calories burnt. So I just wanted to say that the first words I heard when I got onto the program were breaking generational curses. So I'm working on that myself. So when when I hear blacked out history, I understand my audience, but the first things that come to mind happen kind of simultaneously, rage and focus. Rage in that it it is amazing to me to look at and understand the calculated energy and effort systemically, organizationally, historically, relentlessly to keep the black populace from understanding their value and their their worth on this planet. The energy focused on that, if it were focused on any of the the world's challenges, they'd be solved. (laughs) Cancer would be gone. Sickness would be gone. You understand what I'm saying? Like the energy that goes into suppressing our history. Just in this country, just the, the fighting of critical race theory, I mean, we have to come up with all these different words to discuss slavery, to discuss the European, you know, business model that was perfected here. The wealth of this nation was built on the backs and the blood of our people. And to try to fancy that up and cute that up and edit that reality away, that's enraging. But it also causes me to focus. I have to continue doing and and trying to excel in my life so that I can provide a model so I can give something for my sons and any other people that I may be able to impact to follow after so they don't have the excuse to remain hidden and uh, and undervalued as they progress in their lives. Oh, absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. Um, you know, the, the focus part is uh, – um, uh, sometimes you get sick and tired of being sick and tired. So uh, um, I, I know uh, for me, rage is, 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 is uh, causes me to not focus. You know, so I knew I, I need to temper uh, so that so that um, I'm willful. I'm willful in my focus, uh, despite how I feel. You know. Uh, uh, um, yes, sir. <laughs> so so. Um, so, so let me say this, if I can, Bishop. When yes. I say rage, it's outrage. It's yes. it's hurt. Yes. It's, it's, yes. It's, it's, yes. it's a combination of things. It's not simply I'm black and I'm out of control and I'm, like, fitting into any of the stereotypes that we're depicted as. It's outrage. And the, yes. and the fury of it is, 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 is an awareness of self that is constantly belittled and minimized and ridiculed and lied about. And yes. it does cause a focus. It does yes. cause a focus. I remember. Yes. I can remember. I don't remember the day it was, but I was wearing a nice little suit. You know, back when everything fit the way it should, I could grab a <laughs> suit off the rack and wear it. I'm walking down Hempstead Turnpike after just leaving uh, my shift at Abraham and Strauss. You remember A and S? Yeah. And I'm walking. And, so you know, there's a light that you start, you hit a light before you get towards the turn to go to the terminal to catch a bus, all that stuff. But I'm I'm walking down the street in my suit, enjoying my life and my day. I just happen to look over at a car that stopped at the red light. They Mm -hmm. clicked the lock on their car and looked at me like I was Mandingo coming out of the pot trying to kill them. And I remember that moment. That's 30 years ago, Bishop. Mm -hmm. I remember the look on these 
non-melanated people's faces, and their look was a look of terror. And I'm like, I'm walking down the suit, or uh, down the street in the suit, on my way to the, you know, to go home from work. I'm not interested in anything you have going on in that car. And I mm-hmm. think now, several years later, after all the knees on necks and all the senseless shootings of our people, they're far more dangerous to me than I could ever be to them. So that's where the focus comes from. I mm-hmm. want to live in a way that gives that type of mentality and treatment no excuse and no place to flourish. Amen. Amen. Um it's, it's uh, see, it's beyond understandable. It's it, it makes sense. It makes sense uh, to to be wise in your defense. Uh, that's why I said yes. earlier, uh, uh, um, when you're put in in that situation, a a, a con- there's a, re- a concentration camp and has a whole different meaning. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You, you, when you say you have to focus, you're you're in the camp of concentration at that point, and 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 you have to concentrate on not only survival but thriving. So this, you, you either have to be cunning or creative or both, and, and, or both, and, uh, or both. And because you become creative, um, because you are Judah, you are Judah. And Judah is praised, but it, which means you have, you're creating a new song uh, in, 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 in multiple aspects of life. So, uh, 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 creativity becomes your 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 your, your ordered steps. Uh, and with that said, with that said, you you you, you have to uh, celebrate the victories. You have to celebrate Absolutely. the victories. You, uh, 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 if nobody else does, you have to. You have to celebrate the victory. You may not get the mention. You may get bypassed in, 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 uh, on a position for a position, uh, um, especially if you're not boule and you're not a gatekeeper. You, you, you're, you're, you know, uh, um, you, you may get passed over. But you, your quality of what you do becomes a celebration of who you are. And, 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 and you, you, you do better. Not, not, not for approval. It's uh, uh, not for approval of others. It's a study, which means to, to that word is a Greek word, spadazu, to diligently seek after. So in your diligence, uh, uh, you, in your diligence, you, you, you become better, and, 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 and you, you become more confident. Uh, so that's what we're that's what that's what we're focused on. We're focused on getting. Better and doing well. Uh, uh, um, there was an interesting thing that happened, but um, uh, Derek, when in in Alabama recently, recently, uh, the, the the students at Hillcrest High School in the Tuscaloosa County School District, uh, they protested because they tried to limit. Black History Month. They say they they were oh, I not remember allowed. That. I heard about it. Uh, not allowed to speak about anything prior to 1970, as if yep. the history begins at 1970. Uh, um, um, understandably, that is unacceptable, and it should not be accepted. You know, tolerance, which has been misconstrued. Uh, uh, into meaning that you accept of what is wrong. No, tolerance is love in spite of complete abhorrence for what is wrong. Yes, <laughs> that's what tolerance is. You tolerate pain. You don't agree with it. You tolerate pain. Anyway, where this is concerned, where the truth is concerned. The truth does not tolerate anything false, and it does not tolerate misinformation. And sometimes misinformation comes from what is hidden, uh, 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 what, is, what is permitted. Uh, 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 we could go back to slavery and talk about the not reading thing. We could talk about a lot of things. But in the current milieu of academia, in the current uh, uh, mindset and 
uh, of academia, there is an, still an intentional, uh, uh, not only filtering out, but using our history as a Trojan horse to allow other things in. Yeah. I, 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 along with what happened in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, is what's going on in Florida. Florida, um, absolutely. Because, because this is controversial, I understand and agree that certain things should not be permitted to be Trojan horse into through uh, 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 the study of our history. Everything tries to parasite and latch. What's worse is things that are not even godly. Try to parasite and attach itself to our history and our methodology for acquiring freedom and maintaining freedom. Let our history be our history. We don't need to have queer theory added to black history. Because if you look at... Bishop, yeah. why is it that every other platform can stand on our backs to receive acceptance and ours continue to be minimized? And and I heard exactly what you said about the platform being added, but that yes. is, that is – you, you talk about Trojan horse, everyone yes. agrees at our expense, and, and to think otherwise would be deceiving ourselves. It, it, it's the truth. It's the truth. Uh, um other platforms are, and, 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 and to make it worse, we are a, 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 a people with the tendency of, of following and worshiping the Most High. But used, was often used as, a, 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 as a, a, an acceptance of our, 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 our escape and the necessity for us to deal with our past is that somehow some way, something ungodly must be attached to it so that it can slide through. And and, and that's unacceptable as well. Let, I agree. That's unacceptable as well. It is. It is unacceptable. Uh, let us handle our curriculum. <laughs> let right. us handle the our curriculum. Community. The Jewish community takes care of theirs, so yeah. so why can't we just take care of ours? I, why can't we just get our forty acres in the mule without trying to figure out who came over on the boat and who was who was born hereafter? It's right. it's they don't ever intend on honoring our people. And what I'm so dis well, what I'm focused on addressing is that mm-hmm. we need to stop asking for permission to be our, to be a better people. We really do, because well, well, we, you you can't ask permission of those who intentionally oppress you for freedom. That's just that's not how it works. Absolutely correct, absolutely correct. And with that said, we're gonna to go to another break, and we will be right back. One of the initiatives here at Furthering Fathering is to raise awareness around sickle cell disease. Help us to be a blessing to sponsor ten kids from ages 7 to 17 to Camp New Hope in July 2023. Brought to you by the Sickle Cell Foundation of Georgia. Registration opens soon with the cost of $150 per child. Help further and father and sponsor at least 10 kids. You can be a blessing today by visiting our website to make a donation at www.furtheringfathering.org. Click the donate button and choose Sickle Cell Camp. Make a donation of any amount, but our goal is to at least raise $1,500, which will cover the cost of 10 kids. The research-based curriculum, Getting to the Heart of Fathers, Five Core Principles Workbook introduces the five core principles of furthering fathering, and it makes them practical. The acronym principles, which form the word H-E-A-R-T, heart, R, honor, encouragement, accountability, reconciliation, and training. Along with your consultation, the curriculum can be taught in a variation of sessions, virtually and in person according to need. For more, contact us at www.furtheringfathering.org. Email us at info at furtheringfathering.org. 
www.ghostmissionsfoundation.org or call us at 888-380-3370. Haven Church Global, the safe place to grow in grace, where peace is made and the truth makes us free. Join the Haven Church Global's e-service every Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for a word of encouragement on Jeremy Anthony Maynard's Facebook page and the Jeremy Maynard YouTube page. For more information, visit havenchurchofny.org. Let's get the conversation started. Yes, yes, yes. The brothers are back in the building, blacked out history. Yes, we're talking about blacked out history. But before I do that, I want to say that Further and Father will be celebrating our 10th anniversary on March 4th. And March 4th for us is not just a date, it's also a command. It's for us to march forth. Uh, So with that said, uh, uh, we'll be doing a little something called Developing the Listening Ear to Hear the Heart of the Fathers. Uh, Check us out on www.furtheringfathering.org. Please sign up. Be part of the conversation. Be part of the solution. Don't be the problem. It's okay to be a problem when you're on the court dribbling a ball. It's okay to be a problem, you know, when you want to pick up the mic. But when it comes to our community, don't be a problem. Don't be a, when it comes to family and marriage, don't be a problem. <laughs> be a solution. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So, um, um, you know, I like to do sevens because seven's the number of, of, uh, of maturity. Seven's the number of, uh, number of perfection. So here's seven positive things that can happen when individuals or communities gain a deeper understanding and appreciation of their cultural identity and history. Number one, a greater self-esteem. Discovering one's cultural roots and achievements can boost self-confidence uh, and, and, and wherewithal, uh, uh, helping individuals to feel and realize their power and be more empowered and capable of overcoming obstacles. Obstacles. Number two, a sense of belonging. Understanding shared history and experiences can foster a sense of connectedness, uh, 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 reducing the feelings of isolation, alienation, and I'll add vilification. Um, number three, cultural preservation. Recognizing and celebrating cultural practices, traditions, and values of your group can help preserve and pass them down to future generations, keeping them alive and relevant. Number four, community empowerment. Embracing cultural identity can unite individuals and and inspire them to work together towards common goals, such as improving uh, uh, um, education, economics, and health. Number five, intercultural understanding. Learning about one's own history can lead to a greater empathy and appreciation of other cultures and their contributions, promoting respect and understanding. Number six, leading uh, leadership and role models, discovering and uh, recognizing the achievements of the past and the leaders from the past and the role models from the past from one's community can inspire individuals to become leaders to become positive change makers, to become peacemakers uh, uh, in their in their time. And number seven, healing and reconciliation. Acknowledging the painful aspects of a community's history can lead to healing, reconciliation, and even forgiveness, promoting unity and mutual respect. So yes, uh, uh, there's a lot, a lot there. But you know, uh, last week we talked about the effects of colonialism. Uh, 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 on, on fatherhood uh, And, and I'd like to, 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 to Say that we've been so With our focus Sometimes we're so linear In, uh, in Americanism There's so much going on in the world uh, Derek, right now uh, Nigeria has discovered lithium has, uh, uh, the, the, A third of the world's lithium Is under uh, uh, Negro land <laughs> uh, Ancient Benin and Mali And, 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 and yes uh, so, so with, with well, why? Let's see. It, let's see how they're going to start a war now. Let's see with all the social media. Let's see how they start a war now to come take it. Let's see. Let's watch. Well, well, exactly. It's not just that. It's not just that. They they have said that they're not going to export. They say if you need this lithium, 
build your plants here, and, let, and now we, then we can talk. <laughs> then we can talk. I love it. And so that there's economic uh, uh, thriving there. Uh, um, uh, also in Uganda, several trillion dollars worth of gold uh, was found uh, in Uganda, uh, uh, um, changing with, with the potential to change the world economy. Uh, several trillion dollars of gold. And, and, and uh, uh, in the Congo, they've been finding uh, rocks, sediment and rocks that have electrical power in them. I mean, it, 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 this is like uh, uh, straight out of, uh, 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 when you say a land of milk and honey, I, I, I don't know many other places that describe that. <laughs> the, the, wow. the, the, cur- the current, what is called Middle East, which used to be Upper Africa, um, the, the current, uh, since, uh, after the Suez Canal, uh, the, the current Middle East is arid and dry and, and does, not, uh-huh. does not produce these type of things. You know, when, 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 you, when you said you're going to lead to a land of milk and honey, it, it, it's a land that, that, that's beautiful land, you know, because it has honey. That means there has to be bees. And if there are bees, that means there has to be something that they're pollinating, and it's got to be pretty. Pollinate. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 So that's yes. how honey is made. That's how money honey is made. So that means there's going to be flora. It's going to be beautiful. It looks, it's going to look like what you see. Uh, on, on the on the, uh, the, the, the 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 plains and what you see in the jungles. Yes. Also, it said of milk, there will be enough greenery for 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 the bovine animals to thrive there to produce milk. Uh, some use most people use cows, but some use goats. But there has to be enough uh-huh. greenery for them to to to, to thrive. So that sounds like some place that that that, uh, that currently has fifty four countries. That sounds like some place that you're finding most of the mineral wealth on the planet, uh, uh, the things that are needed. Because just you know, you look at Elon Musk and what is he famous for? He's famous for uh, 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 EV uh, electrical vehicles. What do you need? He wants to even do a plane. What do you need? You, you need electrical. You need components. You, you yes. need the components. Yes, yes. So, so uh, uh, focusing on this ter- territory sometimes minimizes our focus instead of expanding it. Um, there's a lot going on in the world. Derek, there's a group called BRICS right now. Uh, but BRICS, uh-huh. B-R-I-C-S. It is, it is an alliance between Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Uh, 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 the, it, it will make that union, uh, which is slightly under half of the world's population. The, so, beating your chest right now about being a, 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 a American is it, 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 not it's not adding up and making sense. When but that's you see not what's what coming on the horizon. Yeah. That's really not what we do anymore. <laughs> I mean, not we're anymore. happy to be yeah. here, but. Yeah, I, I'm happy to be blacknificent and saved. The American part is coincidental right now. But let me, I, I want to sidetrack only for a second, sir, because you said so many things in this brief amount of time, but in the previous <laughs> segment you, you talked about us not worrying about the credit for our role but just being available to serve and help. And I wanted to say this. The platform that God has given you th- through furthering, fathering, is a light, and it's and the hill is rising. So you know that light on that hill has yes. to be seen, and is becoming more visible. And the nutrition that you're providing in terms of information is edifying. You are providing leaves like the tree that brings healing to the nation. I want to tell you, Jeremy, you are providing healing to your people through the information, through the study through the love of what you are giving, and while you may not always see its fruit, know that you're being fruitful. I'm here just to serve you as a carpet. And what I mean by that is as you travel over any particular roads, if I can do anything to make your path smoother, I'm here to serve as a carpet, not a doormat to rub your feet on, but a carpet (laughs) and a bridge. So 
No, no, no. Oh, I'm making. A, I, I, I want to make a you, clear man. distinction because love you, because man. we sometimes as people in in serving one another, you know, mm-hmm. who got to shine? You know, exactly. one man plants another waters. God brings an increase. But I want you to know that your reward is due now and in increments and in multiple multiples because. When this is broadcast, not simply my words, but when this is broadcast and someone feels better about themselves or someone takes more pride in themselves despite all the opposition, that's a victory. God gets glory for, but you're going to get some credit. You know we talked about that before. You know, God gets all the glory, but mankind will cut you for some credit. So I'm just (laughs) saying your heavenly account, your heavenly account is growing, but your global account is building. And I, I thank you for being devoted to bettering our people, not just as fathers, but as a culture of people. So I salute you, Bishop. Oh, I love you to life. Love you to life. Love you to life. You, uh, 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 you know, you, you, you cut me off because you know I was going to say, who gets all the glory? <laughs> no, of course. Well, <laughs> we, listen, we know, listen, we know who controls me. every heartbeat. Oh, without yes. question. You know, I'm not interested in that, man. I'm just, I just want to yeah. see good multiplied. Yeah, I, yeah. I want to see good multiplied. And yeah. if, if at the end of it all, God remembers me and says, "Hey, you know, my servant Derek did a few things that I'm really happy about. I'm good mm-hmm. on Earth." You know, we 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 jockey for position. We get in our cars mm-hmm. and we want to be treated a certain way based on what yeah. our, what we're pushing around. But all I want to do is get there safely with my wife and my family. I mean, I want something nice, but I'm not concerned about it. And in terms of this platform, when you're plowing and you're putting out information, because there's so much, it's kind of hard to get it. It's almost like being in the ring with Tyson because you throw (laughs) so many haymakers. I'm trying to, like, can I remember that one? Nope. Oh, i got to hold on to this one. (laughs) I just want you, I want you to stop for a second and allow yourself to appreciate what what you've done what you and L started and what you're pioneering and pushing through, I just want you to stop and celebrate yourself for a minute, man, because you, you're doing a good work. And if you don't hear it, you need to hear it more often. You're doing a good, good work. Love you, man. Love you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Love you, Bishop. Um, love, love you, Derek. Love you. Love you. Love you, Bishop. Man, man, man. You try. You try to ring, ring the, ring the tears out of me. <laughs> <laughs> no sir, no sir. I'm just, I'm just happy to be alive. Like someone says, I'm just happy to be alive. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Same here. I'm excited to be alive. And, and with that said, um, just because we're adamant about uh, being who we are, as designed by the Most High does not mean we hate anyone. We love no. the truth. We love the truth. It's just sometimes when you receive it, just as Derek says, that outrage is that the truth hurts. So uh-huh. don't, don't, don't be surprised that even through our smiles, there can be grimaces. Oh man, yes, I gotta close. Oh man, I gotta close. Can you do the honor of praying us out? Can you do the honor of praying us out? But Father, in the name of Jesus, we are so thankful for this platform that you've allowed. We are so thankful for the lives of Jeremy and Lamont and all the brothers of Furthering Fathering. We're thankful for the growth of this ministry, of this global outreach. We're thankful for all the listeners and participants, the Divine Daughters of Distinction, and any other affiliated group, Lord. We thank you for the life of Jeremy Maynard and his family, Father. We pray continued health, sustained prosperity and wellness for all of those that he loves father we thank you that your word is being manifested lord god we have believed on you jesus christ and we are saved and now our households are being saved and now our communities are being transformed and the men that are connected to furthering fathering are being rebuilt bigger faster stronger just like bionic men but in purpose and in security and in stability, Lord God. We thank you for the the things that Jeremy has sown into us, Father. We thank you that they shall bless us just like your word has blessed us. They shall prosper where they have been sent. 
and they will accomplish everything that you've ordained, Father. We thank you for furthering fathering and everything that is being done through the lives of the people connected to it. We give you glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Until the next time we meet, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Love you. This is Further and Fathering. We'll see you next week. We love you. Be excited to be alive.